Well, hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today is unboxing some really cool stuff that just came in from KC Tool. This is two of the new Vera tools. You guys, I, I really look forward to when Vera comes out with new stuff. Um, I, I've been wanting a ratcheting T-handle for a long time, and here we are. They just came out with one. We're going to check it out right here. This is just a kind of a first impressions and unboxing video here because, well, we need to cover each of these in detail in the future. But normal little KC toolbox here. We got our little ad for their specials they have going on. We got our little bit of thanks there. We got us a number two Phillips. Got our German tool stickers because we went over $100 on this order for sure. And, yeah, I know it's a tiny little box, huh? Some of these new Vera items, this one especially, is a little bit pricey. I guess the T-handle really kind of is too. But this is the new Vera T-handle. I've kind of, I've been working on trying to put me together a PB Swiss version of this, but I can't seem to find the actual stock version where it's all in one little kit. The only ones I can find have this... Um, as you have to buy the the head and ratcheting head for it and then you get the the T handle also with the normal quarter inch shank on it and that's really the only way to put this kind of a thing together from them so for me that that's just a little bit fiddly in my opinion we got some advent calendar bits right here so we might as well use that let's grab a number two out of here this has got their wrap adapter on it so all you have to do is just press and this these will snap right in Oh, nice ratchet, too. Very nice. Very nice sound on that. If you look here on the very top of this, also, just right here where my finger is, you have a switch. So you have left and right. It has L and R marked on there, so you can switch your ratcheting directions. And we just switch to left. Well, I'm wrong. This is forward ratchet. And then when I switch to L, it just locks it up solid. So, basically we have... Let me see. I'm going to have to fiddle with this a little. That's why this is a first impressions video here, see? First impression here is we go to the... We can, we can ratchet just fine forward, no problem. Very nice, smooth ratcheting in the forward position. But when you switch to the L... Okay, the ratchet actually feels quite a bit different on the left on the left drive, the reverse. You hear that? I don't know. You'll you'll have to feel yours and let me know what you think of this because in the reverse drive it feels like I don't know. I don't really like the ratchet in the reverse drive. Maybe it's brand new and it needs to work in. I really like the forward driving ratchet. It sounds a lot better. It feels like it locks up better. It has a really, really fine tooth. You can see you just barely tick this and it'll click over to the next tooth. But when you flip this into reverse, you have almost this... has almost a little bit of a grindy sound to it. I'm not a big fan of that. Maybe, maybe it breaks in just fine. I'm really curious what you guys find on this. This is literally right out of the box. I've never held this before. And that's the kind of sound I'm hearing in reverse. I'm going to put it to work and see what it does. It's working fine. It just has a lot more grindy of a sound in, in the reverse ratchet position. So let me know what y'all think on yours. But let's get into this next one here. That is... That is about an $80 ratchet, too, just so you know. But obviously, almost nothing with Vera is <laughs> super, super cheap. or any, I don't think you'd use that word for any of it. But this is the one I'm really excited about right here. Of course, the T-handle I really am, too, because I've wanted a ratcheting T-handle a long time. I did not get the kit with the T-handle because I have so many of their kits with the long bits. So I'm just going to put this with some of those, specifically Allen keys, because this is a really nice way to use an Allen key, in my opinion. If you can get the nice, you know, four-inch shank ones for this, 
fantastic. So let's dig into this. This is that new 8009 Zyklop Pocket Set 2 right here. So I went ahead and got the metric version of this because that seems to be a set that's a little more in line with the stuff I need. And I got the version here. This has a belt loop kind of right here on the back. You could run a belt through. The only thing about that is that's going to be fairly restrictive on a belt size anyway. I would put that at about an inch and a quarter is about going to be what fits through that comfortably. I'm not sure it'll fit on mine. I'll have to check. I wear one of the little magnetic closing belts most of the time, and it may or may not. This also has their new socket locking deal right here, so you twist and unlock your sockets. So if you're carrying this on your belt or something, you don't have to worry about them just, you know, coming off. You'd have to twist them to unlock them. It does have an extension right here on it as well, so you got a nice little, I'm assuming, magnetic extension. We'll check real fast. Yep, nice solid little magnetic extension there. Let's dig into the actual tool. That's, that's the whole exciting part here, right? Now this does have the Velcro on the back of this belt loop as well, so if you want to stick this on the outside of your Vera to go kit, that's what this is made for. Kind of a handy little add-on. But this is their cool new tool right there. So with this, I already see one super unique thing. If you look right here in the ratchet head, you can see this is designed to hold right inside this, what appears to be 3 8 drive. You can put your quarter inch bits right in the center of that. So check that out right there. You see, you don't even have to add any kind of a bit holder, which is a big deal with a ratchet when you're worried about getting into these really tight spaces like this. If you have to add like one of their wrap adapters here onto your ratchet, which we've always had to do with the little Zyklops that we've been using forever, you had to do that. So once you added that to get your quarter inch drive on, then you could snap your bits in and now you're all the way out, you know, probably another half inch longer than this. Of course, you got your uh, flipping head here. We'll just pull back, it'll rotate just like that, and you can have your forward drive ratcheting screwdriver is what that basically turns that into right there. So you'll be able to just ratchet drive it just like that. And the handle is a really nice size. They There is none of the, the Vera shape to this really though. It just has the Vera colors on it, but you don't have that exact same shape. It does have a little bit of a of a nice hand grip though. It fits very well. You can get your thumb right down here on it really nicely. With that, with this, I'm able to angle sets at multiple positions, you know, just like the other Zyklop. And these are just magnetic in this tip. They put a magnet down inside here, which that'll be nice for, for really everything you use this for. I like this already just for that. So that this ratchet is ratchet system, they should have pretty perfected compared to the T-handle. Yeah, see. Nothing wrong with the Zyklop ratchet system. Really enjoy using these. And they added bits right here in the handle. And they put the wobble on it. See how, see how these actually have the wobble deal? That's so that when you get to these lower bits, you can actually tilt this and get the bit you want out. And there's a pretty nice little selection of bits in here. We've got our normal Phillips. I see Phillips 1, 2. I've got Posi 1 and 2. Torx 10 and 15, and then up top, Torx 20 and 25, and hex 3, 4, 5, 6. So, four sizes of hex driver, which is really nice in a driver like this. This will be super handy when you just have the one tool in your pocket and you kind of have a little bit of a selection of what you need. And you can put any normal quarter inch bits in these ratchets like this. They're all the same, so you can steal them from all your other little sets if you've got little bit checks or whatever. If you've got their little tool check plus, any of that stuff, steal the bits you need, swap them out within here. That's one of the reasons I really like to start people. If you ask me what Vera tool to really start with, get one of those tool check plus deals first because it has such a nice range of bits, including security torques. So whatever you run into on your job every day, you can slowly filter them into a set like this, which this with double stacked bits, that that is nice because now you're going to have six and six. So you've got 12 bits in this handle, which is kind of rivaling what I can carry in my PB Swiss handle, which I believe is 10. But you're probably not going to carry one in here all the time like you do in a screwdriver version because you're kind of planning to use it with sockets as well. And this came with an 8, a 10, 
and a 13, which we all know the only one you need is a 10, right? We never have one anyway. So that's why I went ahead and got the Sokka set here. Because that actually puts another 10 in my collection. So why not, right? But if you just threw this in with one of the little Velcro socket rails from Vera that you've seen me cover before on shorts and videos, um, it would make a nice full set of sockets for this instead of just a little set of three. But the same deal here. This is designed to be kind of a quick grab and go. Slap it on the side of your to-go kit. So go ahead and change these out to whatever socket sizes you use the most. Obviously, the 10 is probably going to stay. But you may have somewhere where you run into SAE sizes. You just have like one that you run into regularly or two. You can get three on here so you can do what you need to there. And the extension slot will fit really any quarter inch extension. So if you needed to throw a longer one on here, a shorter one, whatever you like, it'll fit right here on the little deal. So this is a really neat tool. I'm a big fan already of the Zyklop style head, so I already know this holds up very well. I think this whole addition of changing the way they designed that front end, that that is going to work out extremely well for me anyway. I, I love it. We have a magnet. If you look, you see these little spots right here and right here? Those look like magnets to me. And they are. See how you can actually, I just put a bit right there on the side just to show it'll hold it right on the side. There's a little magnet on each side of here. Instead of this having a ball detent to hold your, your sockets on, you notice all the way around that there is no ball detent at all. So these, these do have the ball detent, everything just like the normal Vera sockets inside. So if if you want to put this on a normal ratchet, it's going to work properly. These aren't some unique socket that go just on here. So these, though, you notice they just slide on. There's no there's no pressing on, and then it will just magnetize onto it. So, I mean, it holds great. It's got a couple magnets on it. it it's going to be fine, but it'll pop right off because there is no mechanical fastening. It's just two little magnets built in. So notice that right then. That's kind of a cool thing about an unboxing. It's first impressions. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm really curious. A lot of the other tools that they just came out with are on back order, so I'll get them when I'm able to get them. The new Impact driver looks really neat to me, and I could see some good uses for that on rusty bolts and stuff. So I'll be adding that set at some point, and we may play with it if I can find some good stuff to show it off on. But thank you guys for being here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and we'll be looking forward to the next one. See ya.